Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discuss the best products and what you should look for before purchasing a new one. We have ranked these products according to their performance, price, durability, and more. Please go to the description for the latest prices and information. Best overall, MacBook Air M2. If you're looking for a top student laptop and are comfortable using Mac OS, look no further. When Apple rolled out their line of M1 powered products in 2020, the company made a huge splash. As the first laptops to receive the Apple's in-house systems on a chip, SOC, the company's thinnest and lightest MacBook Air ever became one of the most exciting Apple laptops in recent years. The next generation MacBook Air is powered by the new M2 SoC, making it better than ever and delivering outstanding performance. The only real criticism we have was the price, which is a bit steep. If you want a MacBook, but you're on a tighter budget, you may want to consider the 2020 M1 model. Though its fanless design can result in thermal throttling compared to the Pro, we ran intensive tasks without experiencing any major incidents of throttling. Another upside for intensive users is the battery life, which is quite stunning and beats out many of its competitors. It won't be the cheapest option for students, but for those with a slightly bigger budget, this is hands down the best student laptop. Best Budget Chromebook, Acer Chromebook 314. This has everything that most students need to get the work done on a 14 inch display and over 12 hours of battery life to keep working through the day with enough juice to finish any homework in a round afternoon. There are some compromises with buying the Chromebook, notably that Chrome can only run some of the software programs you can run on the Windows computers or Mac. But for most students, that won't be an issue as many educational services are available within the browser. As a trade-off, Chromebook are less demanding than both the Windows and Mac OS, which results in an impressive battery longevity, as Chromebook typically being a lot cheaper than the rival offerings. Just because that it's budget friendly doesn't mean it's underpowered either, and it could cope fine with some basic art apps while connected to an Android tablet, which is ideal for those studying subjects like illustration. Finally, it has plenty of ports to support all your peripherals, such as a mouse or webcam, and you can work around the minimal 32 gigabyte eMMC of storage by keeping a portable SSD or flash drive handy to save all your coursework or homework onto. Best value, Acer Swift 3. This build quality is good, it's mostly metal except for its display border, which is plastic. There's some flex in the displays and keyboard decks, but almost none when the laptop is closed. Otherwise, there are no gaps or issues with the construction. The hinges are okay. It feels smooth when opening and also while closing the laptop, and it's very stable. So there's almost no screen wobbles when typing. However, there's too much resistance to open the laptop with one hand, which is disappointing, as it's a nice quality of life feature that makes the laptop feel more premium. It is thin and lightweight that's easy to carry around with you. The power adapters are also compact and fits quite easily into most bags. The 1080p display looks sharp and provides just enough rooms for split-screen multitasking. Its 16 by 9 aspect ratio is greater for media consumptions since most videos are the same format. However, a taller 16 by 10 or a 3 to 2 aspect ratio would have been preferable for some productivity as you can see more information when reading a document or website, reducing the need to scroll. This has a 60 Hz refresh rate and no VRR support, typical for most productivity focused laptops. The response time is quite slow, causing visible ghosting behind moving objects, so it isn't ideal for viewing fast moving content or gaming. This is decent for business use. It's a thin, light laptop that's easy to carry with a battery that lasts through a typical 8 hour workday, with plenty of charge to spare. Its great port selection includes a full-size HDMI and a USB-C port with Thunderbolt 4 support so that you can connect to an external display for presentations. Its Intel 11th generation CPU can handle general productivity tasks like text formatting and Excel spreadsheets, and it doesn't throttle much under load. Unfortunately, the keyboard feels tiring to type on for extended periods, and the webcam's video and audio quality are bad. Best Hybrid, Microsoft Surface Go 3. This is a well-affordable 2-in-1 tablet in the Microsoft brand, and while it's not that powerful as the Surface Pro 8 or even the older Surface Pro 7, it has a similar design and is more than capable of running low-demand softwares and web-based applications, making this an ideal choice for younger students as well. It even comes equipped with the Windows 11, and while it's not that powerful as a larger laptop device, it can still run some design applications reasonably well. In specific tests, we were fine with using Clip Studio's Paint to create a few digital illustrations, but this isn't a device you'll want to edit image or video footage on. It's important to note that you'll need to purchase the keyboard separately in Stylus as well, if you'll make some use of it. So the devices are sold in its tablet-only form, but when paired with its various accessories, this is more lightweight and compact than most traditional laptops on the market. Best Portable Workstation, 
Dell XPS 179710. This laptop's 11th generation Intel Core i7 11800H chip and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card are powerful in their own way, touting 8 cores, 16 threads, and 2.3 GHz base clocks. Already proving the graphics prowess, there isn't any doubt that the performance is made even better by the oodles of RAMs inside. The 64 gigabytes of memory have proven to improve timeline performances as well as rendering speed during 4K video editing over something with 16 gigabytes or even 32 gigabytes of RAM. While the differences might not often be as drastic or in every workload, especially compared to a 32 gigabyte model, it would be beneficial in the long usage, saving you time and giving you smoother performance. The 17 inch 3840 by 2400 Infinity Edge touch display with an anti-reflective coating and 500 nits of brightness is a pleasure. Having 4K resolutions on a screen of that size gives users more screen real estate, which is a boon to creative professionals. A laptop like this deserves premium features, and Dell certainly doesn't disappoint as well. Aside from that stunner of screens, you're also getting a great set of speakers, two convenient and secure login options, and an excellent keyboard. This is very impressive indeed, a capable and compelling choice for creative professionals looking for a powerful machine for both their intensive workloads and their after-work gaming pursuits. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you loved it. Take a moment to hit the bell icon so you'll get notified of all our new latest uploads.